A 2,500 kilogram helicopter is lifting a 300 kilogram load by generating a 37,000 newton thrust. Neglect drag and the mass of the cable. All right, let's go ahead and start by drawing our forces acting on each object. For the load, I have weight downwards and a tension upwards. And for the helicopter, this same tension would be downwards. But I also have a weight also acting downwards and the helicopter blades are producing an upwards thrust. Uh, so let's go ahead and write down there are three forces acting on the helicopter and two forces acting on the load. All right, we, if we know the masses, then we know the weights. So if the mass of the helicopter is 2,500 kilograms, I know that the earth pulls down on every kilogram with 10 newtons of force, making that 25,000 newtons for the weight on the helicopter. You might be using 9.8, so be careful of that. On the load, we have 300 kilograms. Multiplying that by 10, we get 3,000 newtons. The problem also says that the thrust is 37,000 newtons. All right, um, are the forces on the system balanced? Well, the problem does not say that the object is moving with a constant speed or at rest. And I also notice I have different amount of force acting upwards and downwards, so I'm going to say no. The forces are not balanced. All right, so in this problem, each uh, each object has a missing force, that tension. So I can't just look at the helicopter, I can't just look at the box. So this time I'm going to look at the entire system. And anytime the forces are not balanced, we're going to write down the things I find in Newton's second law, so net force, mass, and acceleration. All right, and again, we are going to look at the entire system. We do this because if I look at the whole system, then the tensions are going to cancel out because we know they're equal because they're on the same string and they're pointed in opposite directions so they're internal forces and they cancel out. To get the net force I look and I see that I have 37,000 newtons pointing upwards and pointed downwards I have 28,000 newtons. That's 3,000 plus the 25,000. So I'm going to do 37,000 minus 28,000 and get 9,000 newtons downwards or upwards as my net force. So that was my second answer over here. All right, it says what's the mass of the system? So basically, how many kilograms are moving? Well, the helicopter and the uh, load are both moving, so I'm going to add those together. So you'll notice for the net force, I subtracted things in opposite directions. But mass doesn't have directions, it's a scalar, so we're always going to add. So that was 25, excuse me, 2500 plus 300 gives me 2800 kilograms. All right, we know that net force equals mass times acceleration, so I can rearrange that and get that acceleration equals net force divided by mass, which gives me 9000. divided by 2800 and that's 3.21 meters per second squared. Uh, let's fill these answers out on the left so our mass of the system everything that was moving added up to 2800 kilograms. The system, the acceleration of the system was 3.21 meters per second squared and the system speed. Well, if I look, I have more force pointing upwards than downwards. Since the object it shows the motion lines, show me that the objects were moving upwards, I have more force pointing upwards, then that speed will be increasing. All right, so lastly, it asks us for the tension in the cable. To get the tension in the cable, well, the tensions cancel out if I look at both objects. But if I can just focus in on one object, I can find the tension in this cable. So I generally, you can pick either object you want, I generally go with the simpler one, the one with less forces. So if I look at the load, so only looking at the load, we can apply Newton's second law to the load. All right, so I know that the acceleration of the whole system moving together was 3.21 meters per second squared. 
those objects are tied together, they have to have the same speed, acceleration, distance travel, all the motion quantities. I know the load by itself, its mass is 300 kilograms. Then I can apply Newton's second law, so net force equals mass times acceleration, giving me 300 times 3.21, or 964 Newtons. All right, so this tells me that the difference between the weight and the tension is 964 Newtons. I know that the load is moving upwards with an increasing speed, so I'm going to do 3,000. It would be 3,000 Newtons to balance it, but we need more force acting upwards than downwards. So plus 964 equals 3,964 Newtons as my tension in the cable. You can actually use the helicopter to check your answer, so we know these two tensions have to be equal. So for the helicopter, I'll go ahead and write this down. For the net force, I can do 37,000 pointed up minus, well pointed downwards, I have 25,000 plus 3964. So I have 28,964 Newtons pointed downwards. If I subtract that from 37,000, I get 8,036 Newtons. The mass of the helicopter just by itself is uh, 2,500 kilograms. And we already know the acceleration of the helicopter is 3.21 meters per second squared. So you notice I found all three of these things without actually using Newton's second law. Now I can just double check that when I do my mass times my acceleration, so 2500 times 3.21, I get 8025, which is very close to 8036. So I just use this to confirm my answer.